Welcome to another Biomedical Engineers TV video. In this video, we will look into FibroScan devices and how elastography diagnosis is done with multiple medical equipment. In this video, we will look into FibroScan devices and how elastography diagnoses are done with multiple medical devices. In this video, we will look into FibroScan devices, but also ultrasound machines and MRI-based elastography diagnosis. So what is elastography? An elastography, also known as liver elastography, is a type of imaging test that checks the liver for fibrosis. Fibrosis is a condition that reduces blood flow to and inside the liver. This causes the buildup of scar tissue. Left untreated, fibrosis can lead to serious problems in the liver. These include cirrhosis, liver cancer, and liver failure. But early diagnosis and treatment can reduce or even reverse the effects of fibrosis. Now let's look into EchoSense FibroScan device. FibroScan is the word used for the device used to diagnose elastography by EchoSense company. Let's look at how this device works. We found a very good explainer video on EchoSense YouTube channel for FibroScan devices. Let's have a look at it. FibroScan operator will have you lie on your back and ask you to raise your right arm behind your head. With your shirt pulled up to expose your rib cage, allow the operator to correctly locate the FibroScan probe. The painless, non-invasive procedure will begin. With the probe pressed against your side, FibroScan is able to measure a 3 cubic centimeter volume of liver tissue. This large examination volume is 100 times the size of a typical liver biopsy and minimizes sampling error. This unique method of assessing liver stiffness uses vibration-controlled transient elastography, or VCTE. VCTE works by producing a mechanical shear wave from the tip of the FibroScan probe. During the examination, you will feel a slight flick or tap on the skin. This is producing the shear wave that will travel through the liver tissue. The shear wave speed is measured by ultrasound pulses which reflect off the wave as it passes through a part of the liver. The speed of the shear wave is used to calculate liver stiffness. In addition to liver stiffness, FibroScan simultaneously calculates ultrasound attenuation rate in the explored 3 cubic centimeter volume. This assessment, known as Controlled Attenuation Parameter, or CAP, is associated with the extent of fat present in liver tissue. As fat builds in the liver, more of the ultrasound signal is absorbed by the fat, thus reducing or attenuating the amount of ultrasound returning to the probe. After applying a water-based gel to the tip of the probe, the operator will position the probe in the space between your ribs. You will feel a slight pressure and a slight flick against your skin when the shear wave is created. You may feel about 10 flicks on your skin as part of the examination. FibroScan will record the measurements and the results will be provided to your physician. Your physician will be the one to interpret the data according to your personal medical history as part of an overall assessment of your liver health. Thank you for your participation. Now that we know about FibroScan devices, let's look into an ultrasound machine and how they diagnose the elastography. Measurements are acquired in specialized imaging modes that can detect tissue stiffness in response to an applied mechanical force, compression, or shear wave. Ultrasound-based methods are of particular interest due to its many inherent advantages, such as wide availability including at the bedside and relatively low cost. Several ultrasound elastography techniques using different excitation methods have been developed. In general, these can be classified into strain imaging methods that use internal or external compression stimuli and shear wave imaging that use ultrasound-generated traveling shear wave stimuli. While ultrasound elastography has shown promising results for non-invasive assessment of liver fibrosis, new applications in breast, thyroid, prostate, kidney, and lymph node imaging are emerging. How an MRI-based elastography is done An MRI examination is often done as part of a conventional MRI examination. 
A standard MRI liver examination takes about 15 to 45 minutes. The MRE part of the test takes less than five minutes. In an MRE examination, a special pad is placed against your body, over your gown. It applies low frequency vibrations that pass through your liver. The MRI system generates images of the waves passing through the liver and processes the information to create cross-sectional images that show the stiffness of tissue. So this was the first video on the channel comparing multiple medical instruments for a single application. So in conclusion, is it really worth buying multiple equipment in hospital for a single application or just use single equipment that should be utilized for multiple applications? Please let me know what your thoughts on this subject are. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and share this video with your healthcare professionals to know what they think about this subject. Thanks for watching Biomedical Engineers TV video, and I will see you guys in the next one.